Hey guys, welcome to the official character guide for M. Bison, where you will learn everything you need to know about the Emperor of Evil in Street Fighter V. Crouch Light Punch is a quick attack that can link into a stand light punch and a stand light kick into his special attacks for a small amount of damage. Jump Light Punch can be good in air-to-air -air battles, as it is a quick normal. All of your medium punches is where you'll be getting most of your damage from. Crouch medium punch is great as a combo ender, and stand medium punch is great to keep the pressure and can link into your crouch medium punch. Last but not least, jump medium punch will be your best air to air as it has the most combo potential. Crouching heavy punch can be a great anti-air if spaced correctly. Stand heavy punch is quick and can cancel into your special attacks making it ideal if you're looking for an easy punish, and Jump Heavy Punch will be your go-to jump and attack. Crouching Light Kick hits low and is pretty quick, and can link into your other light attacks for a small amount of damage. Stand Light Kick is great as it can link from your other small attacks, and it can cancel into your specials. Jump Light Kick is a quick air attack, try using it as a jump in sparingly, as it can throw your opponent's timing off. Crouching Medium Kick doesn't have a lot of combo potential, but it does reach pretty far, and it is special cancelable. Stand Medium Kick is great in the mid-range battle, as it's one of his more solid pokes, and Jump Medium Kick will be your go-to cross attack when you're jumping in. Crouch Heavy Kick will slide you across the screen, scoring a knockdown on hit, although watch out, as if you don't space it correctly and the opponent blocks, you're gonna get punished. Stand Heavy Kick is going to be your main pressure tool. This move has great priority, so use this to score a crush counter if your opponent is hitting too many buttons. M. Bison's front throw will leave your opponent across the screen. Use his quick dash or stomp to get back in. If you want to continue to maintain the pressure, make sure and use his back throw as you can quickly get back to the opponent to start your next mix-up. M. Bison's double hitting jump medium punch, where you can leave your opponent in a juggle state and go for a huge damage combo or a mix-up. This move has a lot of priority and it will be your go-to air-to-air attack. This is another great pressure tool by M. Bison. This leaves you with an advantage and can combo into your crouch medium punch on hit. While this doesn't link on hit, it is another great pressure tool, and on counter hit can cause some massive damage. M. Bison shoots out a blast that knocks the opponent away. The only real difference between each version is their startup. Use this as a combo ender to knock the opponent towards the corner, or to trade with fireballs. The EX version shoots out a slow moving projectile that pops the opponent up. Fly at the opponent and kick them twice. Depending on the strength used, you'll fly a different distance. This attack is ideal as a combo ender, as it leaves you close to the opponent and in an advantageous position to keep up the pressure. Fly up and stomp the opponent on their head. Depending on the strength of the kick used, M. Bison flies at different distances. As Bison's walk speed is rather slow, the head press is a good way to close in on the opponent quickly. After the head press, M. Bison automatically follows up with the movement for the Somersault Skull Driver. He is completely controllable before he hits the ground, which is important because it allows him to bypass potential anti-airs or trick the opponent. This attack does not come out unless you press punch. If you press punch before the head press, M. Bison performs a backflip and proceeds to fall onto the opponent with his hand extended. Each strength falls at a different trajectory, which can make it really hard to read. Be sure to mix up the head press and devil's reverse strengths to really leave the opponent confused on how to defend against this. M. Bison brings up flames around him that scorch the opponent. Each strength has different startup times and different number of hits as well. Using this in combos is crucial as this is his only non-charge attack. M. Bison encompasses himself with Psycho Power, knocking the opponent up and finishing them with a Psycho Crusher. This move is great as an anti-air or as a combo ender. You can also combo this from your jump medium punch attack. Away with you.
M. Bison's V-Trigger truly turns him into a demon. His knee press now goes through projectiles, his head stomp immediately appears above the opponent, his devil's reverse appears behind the opponent, his dash now goes through the opponent, his Psycho Inferno starts up faster, and last but not least, he no longer has to charge his special moves when he cancels them into each other. M. Bison's B skill puts out a Psycho Warp that absorbs the opponent's projectile or attack. Holding down the attack after absorbing an attack will shoot out a two-hit projectile back at the opponent. M. Bison uses his Psycho Power to push the opponent back, putting them in perfect range for your stand medium kick or your down forward heavy punch. Now that we got normals and specials out of the way, it's time to do some combos. Here's a couple we put together to get you started. M. Bison can be played in either a complete rushdown style or an offensive footsie style. If played overly offensive, Bison players should use his dash to close the distance between them and the opponent quickly. Once in, pressure the opponent with his medium attacks into Psycho Inferno or his stand heavy kick. If playing the offensive footsie style, use his stand heavy punch, crouch medium punch, and stand medium kick to punish improperly spaced attacks. Also, be sure to punish jumps with his jump medium punch as it's rather fast and his jump is higher than most characters. And Bison is good at close range with his stand roundhouse, has a good anti-air with crouch heavy punch, his stand medium kick and down forward heavy punch are good in the mid range game, and thanks to his head stomp can close in on his opponent from full screen. Now time for a quick overview. M. Bison hits hard, has great pokes, a great crush counter move with stand heavy kick, and a strong V-trigger. He can't have trouble moving around with the slow walk speed, and it takes him a long time to get his V-trigger. And his V-skill can be tough to use, as it is very specific. Thanks for watching, and remember, hit the character select at the bottom to check out the rest of the cast.